it's your boy, Young Moth Head. Today we have episode 29 of the Two Flops podcast. So how have you been, uh, Flopton? Same as always, my G. Pretty good. That's good. You left the damn door open, man. Oh, yeah. The cold's coming in, bro. Your mama. So, um, first topic, <laughs> your mum walked in on me, <laughs> nearly, um, playing with my dick, but then I had the ninja reflexes. Lock your door, man. Bro, if I have to lock my door every time I play with my dick, that's like that will take up procedure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the It'll fuck? take an hour out of my day. What? What kind of fucking slow-ass door-locking are you doing, man? Just saying. <laughs> I've got Fortnite rounds Wait, to play. Wait, you gotta do it like 50 times a day so it adds up to an hour? Yeah. What the fuck? God? You gotta find more things to do. Nothing else to do. <laughs> what the fuck? God. God damn. Yeah. How'd your job searching go? Um, ever since my center link got approved, I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I just keep up the social media. Just chill. Pay rent, chill. Shh. You could be way richer if you got a job, man. You're right. I'm not sure, like, do you reckon I can keep the income if I get a job? For a little bit. What, did Melanie not hit you back? No. Damn. What a fuck. The chick at Aiden's work, Melanie, is very fine. <laughs> Wood bang out of a hundred. You probably said that during the interview, eh? <laughs> That's why you didn't fucking get it. <laughs> Spasty. I feel like showed her some savatics, told her about the pod. Because she asked, like, where do you see yourself in 10 years? I'm like, savatics will have toured the world podcast will have mad sponsors you know what i i understand i i completely understand why you didn't get the job now <laughs> you spent the job man. interview showing her your music and your podcast <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck showing her all the stuff that you do that isn't work it's work just wait and see she's gonna be like this fucking guy he's gonna spend all his time at home doing podcasts instead of coming to work what if I said, oh, I just play Fortnite all the time, which is the truth. That'd probably be more likely to get you a job, honestly. But you're not meant to talk about that shit. You're meant to talk about, yo, like, I'm always on time. Like, I'm, I do nothing. Like, I'm always free, you know? Like, like I'm a hard worker. I said that too. Except the last one. You gotta let them do most of the talking. Then they're like, she I did. like this guy. He shuts the fuck up. She asked me questions. I gave concise one and a half sentence answers. <laughs> it did go well. I was confident. I wasn't nervous. Damn, I just man. said the truth. You should have got it. I said the truth, which is, you're a fine babe. If only <laughs> I could put my mouth all over you. I really hope she doesn't watch this podcast, bro. <laughs> you fucking told her about this. She doesn't know the name of it, so... <laughs> That's good. Though we do have 14 billion followers, so I don't know. <laughs> She's probably already a mobster. Double mopper. A mobster. Okay. A flopster. Everyone who dislikes this video is a flop star. Yeah, haters are called flopsters, man. Mm -hmm. Copsters are flopsters. Yeah. Bro, I met the rudest fucking cop yesterday. I got, yeah. I was trying to come home on my lunch break, you know. Like, I, I don't get much time. Like, I only get, like, half an hour to fucking drive home, eat, and then go back. Yeah. He's just blocked off the road for, like, no apparent reason. But, like, it, was, it wasn't it was even obvious that the road was blocked. Like, he was just parked next to the road. And, like, I was turning right, so I couldn't even see, like, his lights or whatever. Mm. So then I just turned right, 
And he like runs out of his car like all aggressively like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like what? Can I can I go through? And he's like, Are you serious? And like gives me this look. And he's like, What do you think I'm here for? And I felt like saying, I don't know, you're probably just trying to give people fines. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know, why are you here? He's like, What's it look like, mate? The road's closed, mate. When you see a police <laughs> car like this, it means the road's closed, right? <laughs> I was like, fuck, alright. And fucking the only other way around was like 20 minutes around. Like, fuck, I had to go so far to get home. I'm like, man, I was late. And then when I go back to work, they're like, bro, why do you take your lunch break for a whole hour? I was like, shut the fuck up, man. Oh, man, that's gay. Don't you hate when people work do that? Like, it's not even my boss, late. though. Like, my boss is like, hey, man, how was your lunch break? <laughs> and then, like, just the, a random guy. Just the fucking. Just the Indian, man. It's always the Indian. He's always like, you can only take half an hour. No extra. Dude, so many <laughs> Indians are like messed up because they work hard. They have a good work ethic. But then they just treat everyone that's not the same like shit. Don't they understand that Australians are lazy as fuck? Like, it's part of our culture. <laughs> yeah. We just sit around and drink beers, man. Take smokers. Like, at least 10 smokers a day. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Legit. When I work out in the corridor, like my work is so racially segregated. Like all the <laughs> all the pickers are like Asian ladies. All the guys that like do heavy lifting are like white dudes. Mm. And then all the guys in the freezer are Indians. So when I'm out in the corridor with all the white dudes, like my supervisor's like, hey, I'm just going out for a smoke, mate. <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, no fucking worries, mate. <laughs> you know, it's just chill, bro. Like, yo, you mind if I go to Macca's real quick? He's like, yeah, go now. It's it's mad, bro. Yeah. If you were there and I told you I was going to Macca's, you'd be like, no, don't go to Macca's, go to Hungry Jack's. Yeah, why the fuck would you go to Macca's ever? (laughs) Because Hungry Jack's is so far away. Worth it. No. The savings you make from Hungry Jack's will save you more than the petrol costs. No. How much do you think that McMuffin meal you get every day would cost at Hungry Jack's? Probably five bucks. No. At least like eight bucks. It'd be like two dollars cheaper. Price to drive, is right. To drive like 20 minutes out of my way to go to Hungry Jack's, I would save like two bucks. Alright, price is right. Bacon and egg McMuffin meal. But the hungry. main reason I get it is for the coffee, like the barista made coffee with the nice beans, you know, and the nice hazelnut syrup, you know, and the soy milk, you know. Okay, say, imagine they're the same quality. Let's play prices right. How but much? I can't imagine they're the same quality because they're fucking not. Hungry Jack's is shit. Just theoretically, man. Just theoretically. I'm not even talking about burgers because all the all the fast food. Nah, burgers you just are you just don't want to see how much it costs. I'm gonna say. Seven dollars twenty-five for the same meal at Hungry Jack's. What do you say? Eight, eight dollars at $8? least. At okay. least eight dollars. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Shout out to Moist Crack. One good thing about Hungry Jack's is they have like the brekkie wrap. Yeah, I told you. I like the wrap. I didn't even know that either. Mac has got rid of the wrap, bro. The wrap is so good. McCrap. <laughs> yeah, they used to have a wrap, man. Yeah, the McCrap. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> mm. Well, it doesn't want me to search up how much Hungry Jacks is. Rude. I know. So rude. Well, I won. <laughs> Comment below how much a fucking Hungry Jack's Berkey meal is. <laughs> the winner gets a free podcast. <laughs> winner gets a free shout out. Yep. <laughs> Bruh. Well, I got vaccinated today. <laughs> You scared of it or something? <laughs> I don't get it. Everyone's so scared of like 
of AstraZeneca, <laughs> man. Mm. Like, today at work, I was telling everyone about it, and they were all like, no, don't get that. Just wait for the Pfizer. Like, I know someone that's paralyzed from AstraZeneca. Like, like, you know how many people have died? Like, they say it's 70, but it's actually, like, 400. <laughs> <laughs> like, bull fucking shit. You're not waking up tomorrow morning. I'll be fine, dude. I feel fine. Like, I feel completely normal. You're pretty healthy. I honestly feel better than normal today. I don't know, I feel pretty tired now, but it's the end of the day. And I woke up at, like, mm. 5. And I didn't even yeah. sleep last night, because I went to bed at, like, 12 and woke up at, like, 5, so... Bruh, I, I got no sleep. Um... Shit. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'm so fussy about my sleep, like, I have to give myself 10 hours. 10 hours, cunt? Yeah, just in case I'm, like, tossing and turning. What are you, a dog? Hours. The fuck? Ten hours, damn. I love sleep, man. It's so fun. You just dream. And not exist for a few hours. Like, sleep and having to take a shit are the two most annoying things ever. Like, I fucking hate them, man. I wish I could just always be awake and never have to take a shit. It's just such a waste of time. It's just like time out of your day. Fucking doing nothing, you know? <laughs> Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Time I could, time that could easily be spent like looking at memes on Facebook. Mm, yeah, I wonder why God invented sleep. <laughs> Cause you go to another dimension in your sleep, eh? Yeah, it's still a waste of time. Yeah, cause you don't get to fucking see it, God. <laughs> no, it's like your brain has to rearrange everything you saw, so you don't get like crazy. Like, I have mad insomnia. Like, sometimes I stay awake for, like, five or six days, and, like, I just go insane, bro. <laughs> like, life gets so overwhelming when you haven't slept in that long, man. Yeah, maybe get off the drugs. <laughs> it's not drugs, bro. It's just, like, bro, I could be sober, and I, especially when I'm sober, I can't sleep. Like, weed helps me sleep so much. But, like, if you haven't slept in, like, six days, you walk outside and, like, you hear all the birds and like their sounds are so well and they're just like <laughs> Whoa. I'm just like fuck what the fuck's happening yeah man fair enough but like five hours is usually good for me like if I actually get five hours five hours yeah it's usually enough that's like what 50 year old people get what max don't 50 year olds like sleep at like 9 <laughs> wake Our up at like 9 still... no way bro old, old people, people wake up at so like early. yeah cause they all wake up at like 5am and go for early walks actually like if drugs didn't exist I would probably do that to be honest like the sun the sunrise is a drug itself mm -hmm. like it's such a good feeling can't relate I've no windows <laughs> <laughs> Go for early walks. <laughs> Bro, sunrises are so nice. Like, yeah, that's the best part about, what, like, working at 5am. Just, like, because I have to work outside as well. I just get to watch the sunrise and, like, all the birds, like, doing, like, backflips and stuff in the sun. That's so beautiful, fun to man. Watch. Bro, this bird, like, flew right over my head today. I swear it was the bird I saved last week. Like, this bird was stuck inside. Mm. And, like, I held the door open and, like, whistled so it would like come to me and then like flew out the door it was mad right did the thingy load up hungry jack's price <laughs> doubt it fucking doubt it i i have i've lost my phone it's gone dumbass <laughs> ah! Ah! Well, i threw it over there because it wasn't loading <laughs> why don't you show the double mop is the whiskey you got it's not, it's not that much of a, it's not much it cost to him say, you know. It cost him $430. No, it fucking didn't. This was less than 50 bucks, like you said. Shh. Bro, I was fully prepared to spend $150 on a bottle of whiskey. Why? And you fucking made the shopkeeper. <laughs> he goes up to the shopkeeper and he's like, and my mate has a spending problem. Can you make sure he doesn't spend too much? Yeah, and then I, I'm like about to buy this eighty dollar bottle, and the shopkeeper's like, "Oh, are you sure you don't want this like forty something dollar bottle? It's like really good as well." <laughs> Fuck, man. 
You can taste that as blended, bro. It tastes blend. When you get a single malt whiskey, it's so pure, bro. Like blended whiskey, you can taste that it's, it's got something fucked about it, you know? You can't taste like the barrel. Is it as fucked as these? What are they? Pickle flavor. It says burger sauce flavor, but it's just pickles. Yeah. I'll eat them, but they're not great. <laughs> it's like if you got a Big Mac sauce and like put it in the oven until it turned crispy <laughs> and then ate it. That's literally what that tastes like. That's weird. Yeah. What the fuck? This bottle isn't even made properly. It's like all lumpy. What flavor shapes do they have to make? I'll try banana flavored shapes. What the fuck? There's a lid on top of the lid? <laughs> what the fuck? Banana flavored shapes? That'd be delicious. I'm so glad you're not a food manufacturer, bro. <laughs> bro. Banana flavored shapes? That'd be disgusting, man. Well, it wouldn't be savory, obviously. It'd be like a dessert. I can't even imagine sweet shapes. Like, imagine like caramel shapes. <coughs> That'd be so yum. Like strawberry <laughs> shapes. Oh. That'd be like putting caramel on toast. But like the shape biscuit, like whatever like dough they use to make the biscuit, it is not sweet. Like, it's not a dessert kind of flavor. It's super savory. You've never tasted the biscuit without any flavoring. Yeah, I have, can't. How do you think I eat cheese and bacon? I lick all the fucking flavoring off. It and then literally I it. has tiny bacon pieces ingrained inside of it. You might be right. But I swear, like, it would not work as a sweet thing. Those, like, new TV snack, like, Krispy Kreme things, they're mad, bro. They're right. so good. Do you still have some left? Yeah, upstairs. I got the strawberry ones. I'll try one. Dude, they Make so sure good. I only have one. <laughs> I only had one. I had like a waffle with ice cream and mango. And one of them last night. So good. That's probably why I couldn't sleep. I had all that sugar right before bed. Mm. All that energy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. What's with the low carb, low sugar ciders, man? Because I don't get fat during lockdown, bitch. Fucking, you're not gonna get fat from alcohol, man. You just piss it all out. Oh, you're already fat. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. I want to maintain my current fatness. I don't even get. I don't want to turn into James, bro. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't drink any cider at all. So clearly, it's not the cider that makes you fat. I'm, I feel like James right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, dude. I was ranting about James before. He's he's a sweet kid. He's never annoyed me. But he <laughs> Okay. I don't mean to bully you, James, but why do you eat so much fucking food? It's, I don't understand how it's possible. I think most sober people do that. Like cause food is like the most enjoyable thing in life. It is a drug, eh? It triggers endorphins. Mm-hmm. Like, when I get depressed, I eat heaps of food, man. Mm. <clears throat> but, like, I'm blessed with this godly genetics that don't put any weight on. It's fucked. Brilliant. I can eat, like, ten packets of chips and nothing. Genetics? Mm-hmm. Ain't, your parents ain't like that, buddy. But, like, it, like, it's not my diet. It's not my exercise. Like, it's just... Something about the way I'm made, like I can't put weight on. It's mad. Sweet. But I'm pretty sure, like, uh, my parents said they were like that when they were my age as well. And like when they got older, it just went away and then they put heaps of weight on. Yeah, it seems like when people become parents, they just like, all their health in their life goes out the window because they're just focusing on their kids eh? there's a hormone that you get when you become a dad that actually makes you fatter yeah yeah really yeah there is yeah 
Um, what about if you come inside a female that's on contraception? No, it's like when you have a kid, then your body realizes like, oh shit, I have a kid. Like I need some reserves, you know. That's freaky. Yeah. There's like heaps of stuff that happens when you have a kid. Like you get more testosterone, you get like all this like extra, all these extra hormones that like change your personality and stuff. It can't be physical though. It's just psychological. No, it's right? physical as well. Yeah. Yeah, but like, what if you come inside a girl with contraception and your body thinks it's not about that. Bad. It's about the fact that that you're looking at your baby. You know. So it's psychological. No. It's physical. Like having a baby that's yours actually makes you like produce more hormones and all that kind of stuff you know that's weird so is it like a spiritual connection that makes your body do that stuff i guess you could call it spiritual but there would be some kind of chemical reaction that's making it happen you know that's fucking cool she's about evolution you know because i was thinking because jody has contraception so like what if i busted a nut and then my body thinks I'm becoming a dad, so that's why I'm becoming fat. <laughs> I really doubt it, eh? <laughs> I doubt it. Fair enough. So, um... <laughs> she laughing at, man. What you laughing about? Bro, you look like you walked into one of those ridiculously fancy clothing stores in the city. And thank you. Got the worst freaking clothes they have. Because they try to get rid of it. No, 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 no. This is a nice jacket, bro. This is a fucking nice jacket. Dude. This is like, what is this? This is super dry, man. This is good. It's so warm, bro. And these shoes. Ooh, yeah, I got these from Vinny's, bro. Five bucks. Yeah, they're sexy, bro. These are sexy. They go clickety clack when you walk, man. Clickety clackly. Way better than sneakers, man. Like, I love this type of shoes, man. They're, like, classy, you know? I won't lie, you look really good today. I always look good, bro. <laughs> nah, just today. Nah, G. Nah, you're wrong. Well, today, today I got good vibes. Like, I felt really good all day because I woke up at 5 a.m. Just something about waking up early that makes you feel good by the end of the day. <laughs> you accidentally got the testosterone injection instead of the vaccine, <laughs> so you feel like a beast. I don't feel like a beast. Like, actually, at work today, I did feel like a beast. But it's because I was wearing a really tight shirt. So, like, everyone could see all my muscles. Like, I just felt, like, really... <laughs> like, I was like, fuck. Like, I look so good right now. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, there's this one, like, one, like, 50-year-old lady that always looks at me, man. T touches my arms. She, like, grabs my arms. That's the one who flirts with you? Yeah, bro. <laughs> nice. It's mad. Bro, you have to get in for the double muffins. Like, no. <laughs> like, randomly today, like, I, I wasn't even... This was before she even got to work, before anyone was there. I was just, like, on my own. Yeah. And I just had like the fattest boner for like three hours. I'm just walking around with the fattest boner, like fucking swinging side to side, man. Like it feels good when you just have like a fat boner, you're just walking around. Yeah. Like your blood's pumping. Like I think you get like higher like higher blood pressure when you're hard. Yeah. I don't know. It's just mad. I like it. Yeah. And you had a boner because you saw the fifty year old woman. No, she wasn't even there. Excited. She wasn't even there, man. I, w I wasn't even sure why I had it. Just a bit of morning wood, you know? Fair enough. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could always be hot. It's good. Makes you feel like a warrior. Mm. Fuck, that would be the worst. Like, if you ha had a fucking boner and you're in the middle of a battle and, like, <laughs> someone cuts your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> that must have happened to the Scottish so much because they wear skirts. <laughs> like oh, the skirts no. just like poking out so I'm like <laughs> Ooh. sorry a kilt or whatever the fuck they call it so offensive <laughs> bro you should have seen last weekend's UFC the Sean Strickland is such a psychopath man 
he full goes in his interviews like oh you know what I'd love to do one day in the octagon is like actually kill someone <laughs> and then even though the ref will be like whoa yo what the fuck I'd I'd pretend I'm like what the fuck but I'd actually like you know keep it I'd own that shit <laughs> That's fucked I'm like, up. Jesus, this guy's crazy. You have to do it to someone you really hate, though. Like, you'd feel bad if you did it to someone nice. No, he doesn't give a fuck. He just likes fighting. <laughs> Fucking hell, what a cunt. And he's also like, the fact that UFC payments for fighters is like, you get half to show up and then half to win. He says he doesn't fight to his full potential just because there's consequences to not winning. So he kind of fights like a bitch. But he said like, oh, it'd be a 10 second fight every time if, if you get paid the full amount every fight. That doesn't make any sense. If you get paid the full amount, even if you lose, like, wouldn't you just not care if you lost? Like, it would be way less incentive to fight hard. Cunt just keeps losing and wants more money. <laughs> hey, that's that's what's so genius about Jake Paul, eh? Because there's no win bonus for his opponents. Really? Yeah, so... What, they get the same even if like they lose? Ben Askren. He didn't give a fuck that he got knocked out in a minute. See, that, that's why Jake Paul always wins. <laughs> yeah. There's no win bonus. Fucking hell. Yeah, just the incentive of, oh, fuck Jake Paul, man. I want to knock him out. Like, that's not enough. Mm. Like, you need to be like, I want to knock him out and I'm going to make 10 million for it. Yeah. Damn. When's, is he having another fight soon? Like, I want to see him actually get yeah. knocked out, bro. End of August. Tyron Woodley. Is this guy better than the last guy? Yeah, he was UFC champ. Defended belt like four times. Oh, he's going to knock him out for he's sure. He's like 40 years old, though, and he lost his last four fights. Only four? Yeah. That's not that bad. Like, he's only lost four fights against, like, professionals, like, in the championship, you know? Yeah, young guys. Dude, he's going to smash him. Fuck yes. I have no <laughs> idea who's going to win. I ain't betting a dollar. No. It does seem really rigged. I'll bet it's not rigged though. Ben Askren just was shit. He just can't box. I mean, look at his UFC videos. He looks so goofy. <laughs> that must have been why Jake Paul decided to fight him. He's like, look at this fucking goofy cunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this next guy, he's not goofy though, is he? No. Yeah, he'll fucking win. 100%. Let's put 500 bucks on it. I'm not betting on any Jake Paul fights, bro. It's so dumb. You just cannot know how good Jake Paul... Like, how much he's improved. You just can't know. It's a fucking meerkat. <laughs> Literally. It's a fucking meerkat, man. It is a daddy meerkat. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that, but... <laughs> he's thick. <laughs> Joe Rogan even said it. Thick. Yeah. He looks fat. What? Yeah, he looks fat, man. He's just jealous of his no. mate. He kind of looks fat, not gonna lie. Not on fight day. Maybe. <laughs> He's just got, like, chubby cheeks, you know? Yeah. He looks chubby. He looks so, like, coked and MDMA'd. I don't know about that. I think he said it, or Logan Paul said it on a podcast. Like, they was talking about MDMA. They've definitely had it. <laughs> Dude, I'm overdue for, for a beam, bro. Very overdue. I'm never beaming again. What? Why not? Because the low lasts longer than the high. I hate it. No, it doesn't, man. Like, I get a high after the high. Because like, it changes the way you view the world, and you just feel so fucking good. I guess if you do something productive on it, like make music, 
No, not Nobody even. Like, if you just off. think about the right things while you're beaming, you're like, <laughs> it just makes you appreciate life. Like, it's pretty much a psychedelic. Yeah. That drains your serotonin. I feel like if you smoke heaps of weed while you're beaming, like, it fucks up the way you think. Like you, yeah, your thoughts get weed like you get weed. heaps like you get really scattered on the calm down if you're like really baked. Yeah. But then like the calm down's so uncomfortable if you don't smoke weed. It's like uh Yeah, I said this on a previous podcast, like what I like to do is once I'm properly calm down, like literally then about to sleep, then have a cone. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What happened? <laughs> oh my God. M is the best, like, when you go somewhere, like, when you're at a concert, or when you're, like, at Vivid, or, like, when you're, like, out in the park with a bunch of mates, like, I hate just doing it alone at home. Yeah. Yeah, then you're on social media heaps, eh? It's like... I hate just, like, sitting down while you're beaming, like, you gotta be moving, you gotta be jumping, and, like, running around, you know? Yeah. Yeah, with mates in the yeah. park or something. Yeah, Beautiful. bro. Or performing. It's just lame if you're just sitting down beaming. That's like all you can do these days with this fucking COVID, man. I'm not beaming until Savatix is a support band for Polaris. Or Amity or Ant That's gonna, gonna be, be my a next fat beam. while. <laughs> a fat while. I'm so keen. It's not even the same genre, man. Like, I, I can't see that happening with the way it is right now. Savatix and those bands aren't the same genre? You're out of your mind, bro. They're just not. Like, Polaris, In Hawk's Wake, it's like super modern, like, super, like, clean, like, technical metalcore, you know? Savitix is, like, dirtier, grungier, like, you know, like, like, creepier vibes. Like, it's just a different vibe, you know? It's not that, like, synthy, like, modern vibe, you know? That radio vibe. Yeah. You're right. I did see one of those bands and one of the supporting bands was this really fucking shit deathcore band. Sometimes they get bands like that from like Wollongong and stuff, eh? It wasn't local. They were like big, but they just sounded horrible. I'm like, what the <laughs> frick? Why do I keep hearing about this band? They're awful. Were you on caps? No. That's why they sounded just, horrible. <laughs> probably just drunk. Bro, there was this band uh, that was, like, before Tool. I, I don't even know it was a band. It was, like, a DJ that plays, like, deathcore. Really? <laughs> it was, like, hardcore, like, electronic. Like, dark fucking electronic. Like, yeah. screamo electronic. Yeah. And, like, bef- like, like, the caps hadn't kicked in yet. And I was listening to it. And I'm like, this is fucking terrible. This is fucking trash. Like, I hate this. Yeah. And I, like, go to the bathroom for a sec. And, like, they just kick in while I'm in there. And then I come back in and I'm like melting into the music I'm like oh my god <laughs> this is amazing it's so heavy fuck yeah and Regan's like what the fuck's wrong with you this stuff sucks <laughs> and I'm like bro you don't understand <laughs> it's amazing dude yeah oh, I didn't think I told the double moppers about the first time I had caps when was that? Wait, let's each tell the story so <sighs> I had First time I had them was terrible, man. I just sat in the car the whole time, like, gurning my face off. Yeah, tell the full story. <laughs> it was enjoyable, but... that That's it. That's all that happened. Like, someone gave me, like, two caps, and I was, like, yeah. gurning in the car, and I'm like, oh, my God, we need more, we need more. <laughs> and I end up having, like, six caps, and I'm just like... Bleh. Six? Yeah. You're crazy, At people. least, yeah. And I'm like... Arr, 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 <laughs> the whole fucking night. <laughs> You've had six in one sitting. I've had more than that before, dude. You're crazy. No, nah, dude. That's messed up. Really? Well, not at once. Like, you take them over the time, you know? Because it, it goes up, and then yeah. it comes down, and then you're like, fuck, I want it back, and then you're almost there, and then you come down, That's and still like, fuck, one I want sitting. it back. That's one sitting. But, I mean, you don't dunk six caps at once, because if they all kick in at once, you'll just be, like, heart on attack. the ground, <laughs> like, having a heart attack, yeah. yeah. My first time, so my first job ever was the fruit and veggie shop in Macquarie. Mm. They just started me off at $10 an hour, went up to 11 and 12 you know. 
And then, so then, I was on my break once, just sitting in front of KFC, mm. and I just approached this random uni student, because, you know, I'm good at just approaching randoms, and then, I was just talking with him, and he's like, somehow we just got into the conversation of MDMA, and I'm like, what's that? What the hell? And then, it's like, oh yeah. I can't imagine you saying that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Then he just described what it's like, and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll give it a try. Damn. He gave me his mate's number, so I met him at, like, Taramara or something, and then, so then I brought him to Regan's house, and then, <coughs> so then I dunked one in his room, and then nothing was happening. It had been more than an hour, nothing was happening. That's common. Yeah, so then I was like, Oh, these are duds. I may as well just snort the other one for fun. <laughs> and then as soon as I snort it, they both kick in together. Oh. And I was like, holy shit! Yeah, it's just like waves that come over you. Where'd the camera go? Oh, no. Bro, like, I know exactly what you mean by, like, when they both kick in at once because like once I was on acid yeah. and then like I snorted a cap and I could visualize them kicking in yeah. and like it is the most amazing visual ever when they kick in like I, it's unexplainable there's no words Just for it the feeling eh? dude you could see the feeling like you could see the feeling of them kicking in it's like a wave rushing over you and like all these like neon lines around you and like yeah everything becomes like neon like glowing everything's <laughs> a pattern oh my god man it's it's intense in, in like the best way it's like the most intense yeah. euphoria ever i need to find my recycle bin because it has heaps of deleted videos go to file manager oh good idea yeah, Stupid Samsungs. Bro, legit, like... I was looking at the phones the other day, and there's, like, a Samsung. It's, like, $1,400. And then there's wow. Oppo that's, like, $400. And the Oppo is more powerful. Like, the Oppo has, like, 12 gigs of RAM, like, five different cameras, like, two cameras on the front, fingerprint scanner underneath the screen. Like, it's insanely good. And then <laughs> the Samsung's, like, $1,000 more for no reason. Fuck Samsung, the biggest scam on earth. Bigger scam than Apple, bro. At least if you buy an Apple phone, you know it's going to be smooth. Like, you buy a Samsung and it still fucking lags. I never thought I would be saying that, eh? <laughs> I used to hate Apple so much. I still would not buy an iPhone. Nah, no way. It's Oppo's so the shit. best, man. Any Android. I don't find the recycle bin anywhere. Yo, I don't want to kick this over, man. <laughs> so the, my first cap trip so yeah they both kicked in at once I was just like yelling and screaming I was so happy Regan was like what the <laughs> so then I brought some for both of us next time and oh that was fun as <laughs> I probably said in another pod but yeah Regan's mum came in I would never shut up I was just like no 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 stay and I just no, kept asking questions fuck? and being obnoxious. She was like, what a weird child. <laughs> Regan probably just told her that you're autistic or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, first week back at school, just caps every day. Every day? Yeah, every day, because I had no clue that they're bad for That's you. That's why you hate them. You reckon I've, like, used up too much of my capacity yeah bro mm. if you drew them too close together like you lose the magical feeling here yeah it took me a while to have my first depression problem what like a long lasting depression yeah probably because i was a kid and like as a 15 16 year old you don't really get depressed that much I was so depressed from, like, the age of, like, 13 to, like, now. Right. Bruh. Like, all through high school, I was just drinking every day. <laughs> all, all day. Carlo? Yeah, yeah, man. Sweet. Like, me and, like, all these other people in my class, we'd drink water bottles just filled with vodka and juice. <laughs> <laughs> just share them around. How old were you for your first drink? Probably, like, 13. 
Oh wow. Yeah, man. I drank after. I only had my first drink after doing heaps of caps. No way. Yeah, I had caps before alcohol. What the hell? That's insane, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I used to bring like heaps of beers home, but I had to hide it from my dad. So like. I would put it, like, all the way in the back of the freezer where he wouldn't find it. And then, like, after he goes to sleep, I would go get it out and it'd be, like, ice cold. <laughs> mm, just drink it in yeah. bed on my own. But all I knew was Coronas back then. But they were yeah. so good, yeah, man. Those are delicious. So nice. Yeah, I even had weed from 15 and I hadn't drunk till, like, later when I was 16. Wait, did you do cups before you did weed? Nah, no, I did weed first, yeah. Wait, your f- where was your first joint? In Vanuatu? Nah, some kid from me and Regan's school just brought it. He's like, oh, 10 bucks, I'll bring a joint. I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Bruh. And then the teachers found out. No. <laughs> they did. They sent Regan's mom a letter. Oh, I don't think I was involved <laughs> with that one. I think he got caught without me. Fuck, dude. His mom's like, tell me this isn't true. And he's like, it's not true. <laughs> yeah. She's like, good. <laughs> God damn. The kids were on weed themselves. They were tripping out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My first day in Carlingford High School, I was drunk and I made the best first impression. Everyone loved me. I was just like chatting with everyone and being... Like, and really then on nice. the second day, everyone's like, who the fuck is this Jason <laughs> guy? Why does he walk around playing guitar during lunchtime? <laughs> Why has he got an amplifier strapped to his backpack? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was mad, man. It was fun. Oh, man. Carlingford was a trip for me. I learned... I made, like, every mistake imaginable and, like, learned every lesson all in half a year. Like, I had my first... Like, the first girl to freaking flirt with me... Mm. It's like, I didn't even like her at all, but I just, you know, was desperate because it's just like, oh, no chick... No chick's ever liked me like that before. So I just end up, you know, chasing it, even though I don't like her at all. Fucked in school camp. (laughs) Everyone was pretending they're so worried of of my well-being. Why? Because it was like the disco night. Oh, yeah. And the songs are just so awful. So I just ran away with Chantel to the kayak shed. <laughs> and we went fucking. And hey, then we just hid there. Didn't the teachers find out about it or something? No, that was a rumor. Everyone was spreading crazy rumors. Damn. But they didn't see us fucking. They Yo, just found us they, hiding. They totally found out about it. Because at our camp... Mm. They were like, because you're in the year above me, right? Yeah. Yeah, our camp, they're like, we're going to be keeping a close eye because last camp we found <laughs> people that were having sex in the boat shed. <laughs> <laughs> the teachers literally said that, man. It was fucked. And we found people Sorry, bringing drugs to camp. <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know, everyone was on weed brownies and caps at the fucking disco, bro. For real? Yeah. So bad. bad. It was bad, bro. We were fucking like all raving in front of DJ Cross, man. I should have just brought Chantel to a bedroom. Why don't we go to the kayak shed? <laughs> Dude, the teachers would be so worried. They'd be like, where the fuck is Jason? <laughs> but it's like, I'm tall and I look scary. Why would I? <laughs> What's did, they the end up, like, did they end up going looking for you? Yeah, they found us. Yeah, of course they know what you're fucking doing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean it's and a rumour? <laughs> of course they fucking know. I'm so dumb for showing anyone the caps. I shared a couple of my roommates my caps and someone snitched. So then like So you're responsible for them saying people brought drugs to camp and for them saying people were having sex at camp. Yeah, it's all you. What the <laughs> fuck? Man? You fucked up the Carlo way. Why the bro. hell would my roommate snitch though? Ugh. Cause they're nerds? You got a half of them were Persian, but like I thought Persians wouldn't snitch. There's two types of Persians, bro. There's the like doctor, like lawyer, really nerdy Persians, and then yeah. there's like the gangster Persians with the earrings. 
Kirash's both. <laughs> both? Yeah, Did he snitch? No way. No, he didn't snitch. No way, but, man. like, just in general, he's, like... Because his parents are forcing him to become a doctor, but he's also, like, a gangster. Yeah. It's hard to do both, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of, like, opposites, you know? Shout out Kirash. I looked up to him. He was pretty tall. I always thought he was Kaveh's brother. He's Probably because Kaveh told me he was his brother. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. No, he's not. I like Persians. They're like if Wogs were way cooler. Not saying that Wogs aren't cool, but like if they're cool Persians like... are Wogs, aren't they? I guess so. <laughs> they're not like they don't identify as Middle Eastern or Arab. They don't identify as Arab. Where are Persians even from? Iran. Iran. That's Middle Eastern, bro. Yeah. It's not Arab, though, apparently. What is it? Is Arab, like, just... Leb- Speaking Arabic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they speak Persian. Okay, okay, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Salam. Dude, there's so many fucking languages around, man. Hey... And I'm so safe to learn any of them because who am I going to speak them with? Dude, I, I really want to learn, like, Chinese. But I don't know which Chinese, like, why? Mandarin or Cantor. Chinese sounds so annoying. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to learn. <laughs> <laughs> It'd just be fun to go to China and everyone's talking shit about you and you'd be like... <laughs> like I know Dude, what you're saying, bitch. You know what sounds trash? What? Thai and Vietnamese. But they have the best food, so that makes up for it. Thai is the best food. Fuck Vietnamese food, man. I really hate Vietnamese food. Vietnamese, like, cleaner. Not as much fat and Pork sugar. roll does not count as, like, a recipe. That's just... <laughs> it's the you whitest like, thing ever. You don't like pho? <coughs> oh, I almost threw up just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, yuck. I like pho. Pho's yummy. Yuck. Viet spring rolls. Yeah, instead of cooking your pork chop, just chuck it in a bowl of boiling water. That's not how it goes. That's literally what it is. Beef They're... noodle soup? They don't even cook it. They just put meat in boiling water. Where the frick Vietnamese restaurant did you go to? What an epping, bro. You took me there. <laughs> that was a good place. It's so bad. It's fucking disgusting. Ugh. Bro. Oh, I hate it. That was a good place. That's literally what pho is, man. It's like raw pork in boiling water. You're wrong. I mean, you're right, but you're wrong. Yuck, man. Can you fucking stop spilling your chips everywhere like a child? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck ya. Yeah. Summer's coming up. And I'm gonna murder every cockroach I see. I hope you get ants. <laughs> hope you get ants in your pants. No, I don't have a bin. You a dummy? Dummy. <laughs> but yeah, after I got caught fucking Chantel on caps at school camp. Which was the rumor. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the camp, one of the camp workers was like, do you know how worried sick all of us and all your teachers were? You could have been lost in the ocean. <laughs> like, why, Mitch, would why I... the fuck would I just <laughs> walk into the ocean and get lost? Yeah, at <laughs> night time. <laughs> what? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> That's the way teachers think, though. Straight up. Like, dude, I'm in year 11. It's not primary school camp. <laughs> like, I'm allowed to drive. Like, what the fuck? Hey. I'm allowed to fucking drive. Why would I just walk into the ocean? <laughs> like, I could literally have a pilot's license by now. Like, what the fuck? Damn. 
Yeah, sure you were so worried. Sure you're not just trying to make drama out of... No, they, they were <laughs> worried. That, that's the way teachers work, man. My dad was a teacher. They get worried about the tiniest little thing, man. They're so stressed out, like, all the time. It's so annoying. I've never heard a story about a student's parents suing a teacher, ever. I don't think that actually happens. Yeah. No way. So why would they be that worried? <laughs> if I walk into the ocean and I have, like, bone density and I drown, <laughs> it, are the teachers going to be responsible for that? Or will it be my fault for fucking jumping in the ocean? I reckon they would be responsible for it. You know what? I blame... I don't blame the teachers. Like, they would probably get fired, like, whoever was supervising. Say I drowned, right? Yeah. I wouldn't blame the teachers. I'd blame the DJ at that disco for playing the most <laughs> shit music I've heard in my life. You just read a death note. The music was so bad, I decided to drown myself. <laughs> the most painful death imaginable. <laughs> Still better than listening <laughs> to that shit. <laughs> Dude, all my discos yeah. were lit. Like, the music was perfect. Like, Shooting Stars, bro. That meme song? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Oh, man. They weren't playing, like, the popular song. They're playing, like, really old popular songs that are really shit. That means that the teachers chose the music, not the students. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, bro. What... What are some of the songs they play, man? Like, those old, like, songs where they try to teach you the dance. Did you have that too at your yes, school? Yes, it was so bad. Wait, wait, dude. I, let me try to remember them. Um, Macarena. <laughs> Did you have... It was like those freaking ABC... Those Triple J hippies just writing random songs for every school to learn. Oh, I've got like the melody of it in my head, but I forget the words. Sing it. Dun 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 dun. 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 Oh, I forget how it goes. And there's like full competition for the best school. Wasn't there to perform them? We didn't have that. Was it like APRO or something? Jody! Hello. Jody <laughs> came over. Was that just walk into? A she podcast. Has <laughs> really a sick car. <laughs> it is really big. Jason was talking yeah. about how he's she responsible for our teachers at school camp, like, <laughs> harassing us about bringing drugs and s- having sex. You're the reason. He's literally yeah. the reason. Our, yeah. our, our teachers wouldn't even care about that shit. They, call, they wouldn't care about us bringing lollies. They didn't care about it before, but then he got caught with fucking caps and, like, fucking <laughs> someone in a boat shed. And then I was in the year below him. Party so then, fucked up everyone. <laughs> the next year, they were, like, all AIDS about it, man. They were, like, checking everyone's suitcase Why'd you and get stuff. caught? <laughs> Why did you ruin it for everyone? <sighs> I didn't want to have the caps because I'd recently had caps, and the only reason I brought them to camp was so my dad wouldn't search my room and find them. <sighs> well, that didn't go well. That fucking backfired. Yeah. I should have just ate them. That's actually the same reason I got caught with weed at school. Damn. I brought it with me because I was like, I don't want my parents to search my room and find it, and they ended up mm. finding out anyways. <laughs> you know what I should have done? What? Is like open up one of the drawers in my cabinet and then just sticky taped it to the roof of it. You know what the dumbest thing I got caught at school was? What? They like brought me to the office to search my bag for some fucking reason, like because someone's phone got stolen or some shit. Yeah. And they thought you took it. <laughs> well, they were searching like everyone's bag, like all the all the bad kids, like obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they like find like a steak knife in my bag because like. I eat food. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, you can't have this at school. This is a blade. And I'm like, yeah, I use it to eat. What do you fucking think it's they, for? They the same thing on other food tech she kitchens like, anyways. Yeah, they got way bigger knives with food tech. And then she like confiscates it and calls my dad. And she's like, oh, your son brought a knife to school. 
<laughs> my dad's like. I feel like in my head I'd be picturing like an actual knife, and I'd be like, you know, no, like a kitchen knife. <laughs> What'd your how'd your dad react? She's like, why would you bring a knife to school? Because he's a teacher. Yeah. Because I'm fucking eating food cunts. <laughs> what food was it for? I don't fucking remember, man. <laughs> Just bullshit, man. I see. Bullshit. Ooh, just bullshit, honestly. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Bro, I'm so glad I left school early. Same. Fuck the HSC, man. Yeah, I wish I could believe. <laughs> I just got high before every HSC exam to make it bearable. You did the HSC? Yeah, it was good high though it's fun damn <laughs> my mate jamie said he was gonna like walk out of every hsc exam early we were not allowed to do that we would, we'd stay the whole time that's why i got high what else are you supposed to do while waiting <laughs> damn they man. made the oral exam for music really fun though you used to like hear everything hey that's the only like thing i was good at like the only test i could actually do is where they played the notes and you have to write them out i was actually oh, yeah. mad at that we didn't, we had to do like the, like actual like terminology and shit. like, I think they were repeating ostinato. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what a fucking ostinato is, Sorry, but. For <laughs> <laughs> well, that one you were talking about, you used to do do me, right? No, like they would have like the note lines and you have to like guess like which notes they played. I say guess, right. like some people actually know, but I would just guess and I would actually get them right a lot. <laughs> and then <laughs> Miss Coe's like, Wow, Aiden, I'm actually quite impressed. And I'm like, it's not like I know anything. <laughs> like, I just fucking guess. Like, yeah, I got an A in music somehow. Miss Co. High Key thought I was a G for shredding on guitar for the prac. Hell yeah. <laughs> Same, man. Hell yeah. She would just let me, like, go to the, the practice room and just play guitar all lesson. Just so I didn't... Because if I didn't do that, I would just constantly disrupt the class. <laughs> Everything she said, I would make a joke and everyone's fucking laughing. <laughs> just fucking, like, stealing people's pens and stuff. Like, <laughs> fuck, I was so retarded in school. Dude. I don't know if I've ever told funny. this story on the pod, but, like, the Samsung Galaxy S4 had an IR blaster on it. What's IR? Infrared. Like, the same thing in remote controls. And so, like, we would... Oh. S- <laughs> we would sit in science class. Whoa, wait. We had the same thing in science as well. We'll go on, go on. Every time the teacher turned on the board, this guy in the back of class would turn it off. And she'd be like... <laughs> that was Molly. Molly, she had the same thing on her phone and she used to turn it off like every five minutes. And this teacher Come to the mic. Off. Same. Oh, this really teacher got so pissed. <laughs> and she was like calling in technicians like, why is the whiteboard not working? I do not understand. <laughs> and then eventually she caught on to it. She's like, somebody's using their phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then she like gets this box and like confiscates everyone's phone. But the guy that was doing it didn't hand in his phone, so he was still fucking doing it. <laughs> yeah, see, Molly had two phones. She had one phone to fuck with the teacher and one phone for actually using. <laughs> Man, it was so good. And he could, like, flip the screens it was upside down and, like, wow. change the brightness. <laughs> All this stuff, man. Eventually, she did guy. take his phone. Yeah. And then, like, while she was, like, turned around, he, like, walks up to the board and turns it off. And then she's like, how did it turn off? <laughs> <laughs> and she, like, yells at us for so long, man. Oh, it was so good. It's so easy to fuck with teachers. And then I, I like called like sexy like i was searching up different like hookers in class on my phone like prostitutes yeah. and i was like calling them in the middle of class <laughs> nice. and one of them answers the phone she's like hello this is sexy cougar would you like what would you like today would you like blow job or would you like <laughs> me to ride you or would you like me to talk dirt and like it's on speaker and she's yeah. like who the fuck is playing that? <laughs> <laughs> just sends me out and I, like, make sparks with the electric thing, and then I got banned from doing practicals. Oofed. Bro, she got to the point where she made me do all of my work outside the classroom on, like, one of the lunch tables. <laughs> like, even my test. But it was so good, because I could just use my phone, because she wasn't out there, and I was just cheating on the test, man. It was mad. Oofed. It was mad. I didn't even need to cheat, though. I was fucking good at science. You know who was a legend? Who? Miss Botros. 
Cause I fucking hated her in school, man. I hated her. Did she's she such teach a you bitch. Or not? Yeah, I was in her English class, yeah. and like she would make everyone do their homework, and she would like actually check if you'd done it. And like obviously, I haven't done it. I never do any homework. And then she would like keep us back for detention, and then I'd just what walk out because I'm not fucking doing detention. Yeah. And then she'd give me like after school detentions, and I wouldn't go to them, and then they would fucking and suspend then you got me. Suspended. Same. That's why I left. <laughs> I'm like, bro, do you want me to be there or not? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> like, don't give me detentions. I'm not going to go. And it got to the point where, like, it got to the end of the year. So then the new year starts and they've all forgotten about all my <laughs> detentions. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. I think Miss Butchos was just come in my class because it was mostly Chinese. So, like, most people actually did the work. So when I was just fucking around being a class clown, she didn't give a shit. Did you do your homework, though? Yeah, bare minimum, but yeah. See, I never did any homework on any class. Oh, that... bro, you just do bare minimum and get through. No, that was my thing, you man. You get N awards and shit. Yeah, I did get N awards a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them. Me qua awards. You know what? N awards is such a scam. I got so many and I still managed to graduate. Say, like, well, I didn't graduate, but like, I still got to the next year. They're like, you're not going to be able to do year 11. Like, bitch, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go to that paper, though. <laughs> they're just scare tactics, eh? Especially math class. I would never do homework for oh, math fuck class. That. Fuck. I got like two math N awards in math class. class. Why would, there's no point to go to math. <laughs> Why is every math teacher Chinese? <laughs> or Vietnamese? I never had a Chinese math teacher. They're oh, really? always white. Yeah. One of them had a oh, PhD. Oh, I follow that white eh? One of them had a PhD. And I'm like, why are you a teacher if you have a PhD, <laughs> Mr. Wilson? <laughs> He, like, carried around, like, a shopping basket, like, full of his books. It was, it was nice, though. Once he gave us detention, like, outside the staff room, but he was on duty. Mm. And then we all just, like, snuck around and, like, followed him, but, like, hiding behind the walls so he couldn't see us. And, like, everywhere he's walking, like, through the blocks, we would, like, walk behind him and, like, hide behind the table and, like, hide behind the bushes. Nice. And he, like, he knew that someone was following him. Eventually, he spotted one of us. He's like, oi! <laughs> And it, 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 like, made him laugh so hard that he's like, alright, you guys can go. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that sociopath with the ponytail, the woodwork teacher? Stewie! Bro. Mr. Stewie. What do you mean sociopath? He was a legend. He was legendary. Sociopath because he's nice to some classes and he's a cunt to other classes. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> like, like, he can be a complete arsehole if he wants. Yeah. But then to, like, me and the boys, it was always so nice, bro. Let's see. He invited us to boat building competition. Dude, it was mad. I don't know, that ponytail just scared me. Bro, he was so nice. Like, in science class, I got sent to the deputy for making sparks. Yeah. And he's like, oh, when I was in high school, I used to fill up the sink with gas and then light it on fire. <laughs> Don't tell your teacher I said that, all right? Now, when you go back, tell her I gave you a good talking to, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like, cut. thank you, Stewie. <laughs> what a legend. And he's like, uh, she can't keep you out of class. Like, tell her that I said you have to be in class. You're <laughs> <laughs> such a legend, man. He just understood, like, boys are going to make fucking sparks, bro. Like, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it, bro. Oh, the camera. It's all right. We'll just keep going with the audio. Psh- no one watches podcasts, anyways. Psh- <laughs> dude who else was oh dude um so Sarah D was like my second run in with females <laughs> and then I actually liked her compared to Chantel so then um yeah big mistake first date we had I just like went to her house which you don't do that. You always bring the girl to your house. You don't go to their house first. <laughs> Why? Because it just seemed like I was just acting really desperate. <laughs> but then we're at we're just chilling at Carlo Court before I went to her house. Mm. And then Kirash just comes up and is like, "You're a blessing. You can do way better than that, bro." What the fuck? <laughs> it was so. <laughs> What a cunt. I just Damn. started laughing, but it was really awkward as well. Damn. It was funny. That's dog, eh? 
You don't say shit like that. Yeah, that's like insensitive as fuck, man. It was cunty, but it's like he is a cunt, so yeah, it was just funny. Uh, like all through school, like he would say things like that, and I'd be like, "Bro, what the fuck, man? Like you're really insensitive." Like there are a few people at our school that were like that. Yeah, I feel like he was probably just like still learning how to be a cunt and be like be a charismatic cunt, like me, you know. I I'm remember. So I remember this one guy, Seekong man. I was eating a pizza on the <laughs> like. I was waiting at the bus stop eating a pizza, and he's like, "Can I have a piece?" And I'm like, "No, nah. like it's my pizza." Fucking just takes the box, grabs a piece, and then throws it on the ground. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like I fucking yeah. oh dude, I swear I like grabbed his shirt or some shit. I was gonna fucking bash the cunt, man. I was so fucking pissed. Fucking hell, that made me so mad. Every day on the bus, I would just eye the cunt down after that. That's weird. He was nice to me. Bro. Wasn't he friends with Kirash as well? Yeah. That's why I hated them all, like, through school. I'm just like, these fucking guys, man. Like, just little things like that, man. Makes you hate them. Mm. Dude, remember the Young Mophead demo where I dropped the N-bomb? Mm. Yeah, freaking... Enrique heard it and he was sort of like dude what the hell that's the most racist shit I've ever heard <laughs> it was like did he I'm, find it funny or was he being serious no I was being serious like damn I, <clears throat> obviously I don't drop the n-bomb to be offensive to black people like it's it's like it means brother it's like yeah my n <laughs> damn he changed you you can't say it anymore so now it became brother in the song <laughs> Never leave a brother behind. Fuck. I'm not even black. You bitches better watch the fuck out. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I'm yeah, not even black. <laughs> Bro, like, you either go all in or you don't. Everyone says, like, all the Towers lads call me 6 9 So, and 6 9 drops n bomb. so... Can I get the n bomb pass? You're asking I don't know. Why are you asking me, bro? <laughs> Theoretical question. I just stay away from it. It's like way too hot of a topic, you know? Yeah. Do you reckon in like 30 years when all the racist white Americans are dead, we'll be able to say it? Is, things are not heading in that direction, my man. All the racist Things are going downhill. Like people are getting more sensitive. Oh, like, America's More offended fucked. and more sensitive. It's Dude. fucked. It's all America, and the people that are like that in Australia, they're just pretending to... They just want to be part of the club, but there's not as many. Hmm. We have it way better than America. Like, I swear, like, how do people get offended by words? Like, are you not secure about yourself? Like, why do words offend you? Because they're not secure yeah. about themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like... So people can say anything to me and I'm like I, I really don't give a fuck you know like sure maybe in the moment I'll get a bit like like it'll be awkward so it'll be like uncomfortable that they said something mean to me but in the long run I really don't give a fuck like it doesn't really affect me oh it's just words you know yeah I already have so many haters like random essays this message your music's so shit or like huh <laughs> you what they just say all this shit and it's like are you trying to offend me like what Tell music to have send you, you made? music yeah. yeah send me some music never leave a brother behind I sent I linked Zarek's Young Muppet songs on Spotify and I was mm. telling him oh the producer who did it was so crap and he's like I can't believe someone produced this. It's so garbage. What'd you send? Just the Young Mophead songs up oh, on Spotify. Oh, yeah, now. yeah, yeah. So he's going to redo them for me for 240 bucks. Not bad. That's a good price, yeah. Like, I was listening to Post Malone today, and, like, he's got, like, those hits, like, the classics, like, the bangers. Yeah. But then he's got all these songs where it's, like, like, the words are kind of lame. 
Like, I'm thinking, like, wow, this is kind of lame. But then also, I'm like... Like, it's also not, because, like, at least he's saying something. And at least you can vibe to it, you know? Like, who cares if the words are, like, cliche? What's an example? Like, I don't know. He's talking about, like, oh, I'm so rich now. I got so much money. Driving a Bentley. Like, yeah. fucking... All this stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, like, it's over. It's overused. Like, everyone says it, but, like... It's still a vibe. Like, it's still positive music, you know? Yeah. Like, it's better than not releasing a song. Like, it's better to release a song that's kind of cliche that people can still enjoy. Because, like, when you're listening yeah. to an album, like... Like, you don't want all these, like, serious songs, like, just because they're meaningful, but they're all, like, dark and, like, serious. Like, you want some, like, mm. just casual songs that are, like, cliche, but who cares if they're cliche, you know? Yeah. Or you- better than nothing. Oh, I can't wait to gig. Dude, when we start gigging Savatics, the freaking social media I'm going to make, my mind will be blown. <clears throat> I have so many plans. Like what, man? Just like in between songs, just the corny jokes we're going to make. Plus inspirational speeches. Hell yeah. I don't know, Kevin said he's a really good front man, so I'll just leave it up to him. I'm planning on putting my balaclava on and just playing bass in the back. <laughs> fucking vibing, bro. That's what I'm going to do. Probably like oh, do yeah. a bunch of coke before every fucking gig. You know. <laughs> just you enjoy know. myself up there, man. But yeah, G. Although I can't, I can't sing at all when I'm on coke, so I probably won't do that. Oh, shut the frick up, bro. You're a great singer, no matter what drug you're on. I'm, like, pretty pretty good singer when I'm sober, eh? Maybe on acid, not, because, like, you won't be able to... You've got this what... completely backwards. On acid, my singing is, like, next level. Is it? Cunt. Can you tell what note you're on? It increases your range, like, so much. And, like, the thing it's is... it's interdimensional. <laughs> it's, like, hard to capture one vibe like i find myself singing multiple vibes in one take yeah if you get what that means like like i'll be like pushing this like positive vibe but then like next second i'm like kind of like like laid back or like like the vibe changes too much it's because my because i got adhd like I, i like jump from vibe to vibe you know man i use the word vibe way too much but like it's a good word on acid like the range increases so much and like the attention to detail and like the textures of your voice increases so much but then like my perfectionism also increases so much so then i always like end it early and i'm like no i need to redo it and then i just get nothing fucking done your perfectionism pisses me off but we need to do acid and then take my adhd meds so that i'm concentrated <laughs> and no, then i'll don't. be sweet don't why <laughs> Because cause study drugs make you anxious. And you don't no. be anxious on an acid trip. No, they don't make me anxious. They make they me, don't. like, confident as fuck. Really? Because I can, like, actually think properly. Like, when I'm when I'm not on my ADHD meds, I can't think properly. Like, I really can't. Like, my I head would, is everywhere, dude. Dude, I would actually... Like, not even kidding. I would probably kill myself if I was on, like... The study fuck? drugs on acid. Because, like... I get so anxious and I just overthink everything and then on acid they I make just... you overthink yeah. see that's the thing I'm always overthinking so when I take Dexies I like you can think focus. less mm. like my thoughts become ordered yeah yeah Fair yeah enough. bro different brains but I don't know how they would affect acid I've never tried it some people say don't do it because acid causes vasoconstriction which means your veins become smaller mm. which that that's has tripped me out before like i look at my hands and they're all like spotty and red and like white spots and stuff and like mm. I can, like my arms start turning red and like your muscles feel like tight right and like if you take dexies as well they also cause vasoconstriction so it's going to be like pressure. way more like your blood your veins are going to be really tight yeah but like i don't know Let's try it a little bit. Try it out. Half a pill or something. Yeah. Hmm. Let's 
Let's wrap it, G. I want a steak, man. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in, Double Muffers. This has been your boy, Young Muff Head. Out. Why'd you head?